morning, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Skitty Fishing. I am in my pajamas out here in this canyon on a mid-November Saturday. Uh, just kind of scoping out the river, just looking to see what the conditions are. I like to do that periodically. And uh, there's snow in the forecast later on today, so I didn't want to go too far. And uh, uh, that basically my main fishing video is for tomorrow, which will be a video later weeks from now by the time you see this video. Um, but I had this idea. And with Thanksgiving coming up, I wanted to do something a little bit themed for the Thanksgiving holiday. And that is essentially show what I'm grateful for with the mainstream American based Tenkara companies and what I feel like their overall perception from the community is. And you're probably wondering why I'm even making a video like this. Um, there's a couple reasons for that. I'll, I'll briefly explain and then we'll get right to it. Uh, number one is that I wanted to do something just kind of super lighthearted and kind of fun and different for the uh, Thanksgiving holiday. I did a Halloween themed video with the Dragon Tail Gravedigger Kabari and uh, I liked it. I don't know if I'm doing holiday videos beyond this point going forward. So if you like this, let me know. But I truthfully have no format for holidays beyond this video here. Uh, number two, it's probably no secret that if you've been watching my channel for the last year and a half, it seems like I'm fishing a different Tenkara rod every video. And I've systematically been accumulating so many different rods, testing them, uh, selling them, trading them. Um, a lot of companies have donated products to me in collaboration, and I'm super thankful for that. I feel like my channel is in a really good place because of the networks and relationships I have with uh, some of these mainstream American-based Tenkara companies. And I need to make a comment about JDM rods now. So the only reason why JDM rods will not be mentioned into this video is simply because I have zero JDM experience. I am not the guy with the credibility to discuss this topic in this format. And I've developed a reputation on some well-known Tenkara anglers that I am not a JDM guy. That's absolutely not true. I will mention that uh, YouTube, I am still in the this is for fun phase and I'm spending a lot more money than I'm making back making this content. So this is just all to be lighthearted and fun. There is a future for JDM with the Skitty Fishing Channel, but systematically and financially, it's just not lining up. So uh, I hope to collab with brands in the future um, and get engaged with these, uh, these rods. But just as of right now, it's simply just just not a thing. So that's the only reason why Japanese rods are not mentioned in this video. So uh, also too, with that in mind, my content has always been mostly driven for entry level Tenkara anglers or intermediate or just Tenkara enthusiasts in general. This is not a video that's intended to tell you that one brand is better than another or that you should go purchase um, something from one of these brands. Uh, this is just simply a video on theme with Thanksgiving. And ultimately the theme I think I'm going for here is what is the average perception of these companies from the general consumer standpoint, general consumer standpoint. So with that being said, I'm going to talk about uh, a couple brands. And if I missed a brand, again, it's kind of like the JDM thing. I just don't have a lot of experience with that brand. So I can't really do much to mention that there. There's a lot of great companies out there and they all deserve your business because they're all small businesses still in retrospect to Western fly fishing brands like Sims, Orvis, Sage, etc. So with that being said, let's get to it. All right, guys, to kick this off and in no particular order of brand with the exception of the first one is rightfully Tenkara USA. So my general standpoint and perception of this brand among many Tenkara enthusiasts out there, I'm not gaslighting you, is that this brand kind of pioneered Tenkara in America. Now I know there's some backstory and some missing links there that suggest that the influence was here before TUSA. And so when a lot of anglers start to discover what Tenkara is and they do a lot of research, not only is Tenkara USA one of the first brands they stumble upon, but they get some kind of a basic understanding of Daniel's backstory and how he brought Tenkara from Japan over to the United States. And that directly contributed to Tenkara being an e-commerce type phenomenon, right? I mean, 10 years ago, you couldn't go into a brick and mortar fly shop and buy a Tenkara rod. Your chances are at least a lot higher now because of the community of, uh, you know, Facebook, threads, podcasts, uh, these websites. And I believe that Tenkara USA is a direct contributor to that. And uh, sometimes they're a little bit big big company vibey for me and that's not really my forte uh but no matter how many rods they're developing whether they're trying to create a better lineup or fixing and improving their previous lineup uh, they really preach one thing heavily and that is just a rod a line and a fly right they're not developing rods for specific styles of casting and a rod for a specific style of of fly it's essentially just 
you know, what's the right rod for the right creek and the right fish. And they have a really nice flow chart on their website that's second to none on how to help develop that rod. But they just keep it simple. And that's what skiddy fishing is all about. Keep simple, simple. The thing is, when you start getting into a uh, Tankara beyond the entry level, you start to complicate it and make it more complex because you're formulating it to your needs and what makes it fun for you. Tankara USA for me is kind of a leading example of how you get here and how you can direct your path on from above that. I love that they keep simple, simple, and uh, I, I'm so grateful for what they've done in the Tenkara community and how they've directly contributed to that. So that's uh, that's Tenkara USA. All right, guys, next brand to mention here. And again, I'm not here to sell you on this specific rod for this specific company, but again, I'm just talking about my perceptions of the company and what I think the, the, the consumers generally see from them. And uh, that's gonna be for the next one in line, Tenkara Rod Company. Now, Drew and Tuna, the owners of this company, they do get a little bit of gripe sometimes for making the flashy product rods, um, you know, maybe making it look a little bit more hipster, but really nobody advocates more for that younger target market than Tenkara Rod Company does. And I know some of the uh, high-end influencers in, in the podcasts and forums uh, love kind of the more mundane and basic looking rods, but I say own it. I really love that these guys just love to make their, their rods crafty looking and, and just simply fun. And in regards to fun, their YouTube content is my personal favorite out there. And they just truly make it look like you're having the best time and that they're having the best time while doing it. Honestly, no company makes me just want to just ditch everything in my life and be a trout bum more than this company right here. Um, I love passively watching them. Uh, do their thing. Uh, yeah, I know they edit it and they make us see what they want us to see. But honestly, I, I think that they're preaching the right things when it comes to uh, Tenkara fishing. So yeah, so that's my perception. I believe that they are the most fun Tenkara company out there. Also, Tenkara Rodco is one of the biggest advocates for native trout conservation out there. I can't think of a different Tenkara rod company that is doing more than what they're doing. Uh, they bring it through, uh, you know, brand support. So whether you're buying, you know, hats with them, bringing that awareness, uh, but also just go to YouTube and type in Western Native Trout Challenge. I guarantee you, you will see a Tenkara rod company video as a top video. And that's with Western fly fishing uh, saturating the YouTube world. So these guys are serious advocates for Western, uh, Western native fit trout conservation. And if you guys know me, if there's anything I love more than Tenkara, it's native trout. Um, I am inspired to do the Western native trout challenge, uh, really because of them. I give them full credit for that. I believe that they're just having fun. Uh, you know, whether it's flashy or if you're just keeping it simple, these guys are just, they're all about the fun and the good vibes and the good times and fish on vibes. So thank you, Tenkara Rod Company for what you guys do. All right, guys, the next company that I'm super thankful for is going to be Dragon Tail Tenkara. They will forever be the brand that I bought my first Tenkara rod from, which was the Mizuchi, and I've been a huge fan of it even still to this day. Uh, one thing about Dragon Tail is not only are they providing affordable rods for most people, but they're also like the supply company. Whether you need lines, you need flies, you need fly tying material, you need some equipment, like they're such a great company to just start with. Their quality is so good for how affordable uh, they are. And again, I'm not here to sell you on a specific brand or quality. Dare I say, if you're just discovering Tenkara and you start Googling it, this is one of the top three brands that you will probably find. One thing I really like about Brent and uh, what he's doing with this brand is that he's listening to his consumers. And that could be dangerous sometimes, but he listens and he, he develops based on that. At least that's what it seems like to me and maybe among a handful of other people too. Uh, for example, this rod right here has a blend of fiber glass and carbon fiber and because of that this rod gets such a great rep for uh for being not only packable but of a, a great action without being noodly and they're the only brands that are really just toying around with that proprietary blend of of materials and and they're keeping it affordable while doing it and when I say that Brent's listening to his consumers, I mean that he took his favorite rod, the Nirvana 400, discontinued it, and then remade it entirely. And that hasn't been successful for a lot of companies that have remade rods. A lot of people miss the original product more than the, the remake. And uh, I think that he's just doing it and he's doing it right. And again, that could be a dangerous game to play listening to your consumers. I'm gonna say that probably one thing that Dragon Tail does differently than any other brand is that they're revolutionizing American 
company rods uh, at an affordable price point. They're going through these Korean manufacturers right now and they're making some really awesome rods with their Nirvana line, which is their sister company. And it's they're doing great things right now and their forecast in the future looks like super, super bright without paying uh, more than you need to for that rod. So super excited for what they're doing. This is like the supply brand for the Skitty Fishing Channel. And uh, Brand is just such an outstanding guy. I love talking to him. And, uh, you know, I met him at the Fly Tying Expo, just a super down to earth guy, easy to talk to. And I really, really am thankful for what Dragon Tail has done for the Tenkara community. All right, guys, next up is gonna be Wasatch Tenkara Rods. So this, this is one of the first companies that I made a direct friendship with. I would really call Ruben Garza a really close friend of mine. And Ruben and Nathan, the owners, are some of the most down to earth, genuine and selfless people that I know. Like dare I say that if you just happen to be traveling from a different state, you're coming through Utah, you need a place to say, stay. Ruben's like the first guy to be like, come stay at my house. Don't pay out of pocket. Don't go to a hotel. He's just like that. He's such a giving guy and he loves supporting people. Um, one thing that I think that Wasatch Tenkara Rods does uh, a little bit differently than other brands is that you become a family member of Ruben once you purchase his rods. He wants to stay engaged with you and he wants to follow your journey on a personable level. And I don't think any other Tenkara company is doing that. Now, I know that Wasatch is a little bit on the smaller side compared to those companies. So again, it's probably hard for the owners to like stay on top of individual people per se. And a lot of them are doing it pretty good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here to say that nobody's doing it but i don't think that anyone's doing it better than ruben he's just such a, a personable upstanding guy and uh he's he's just so zealous about his company and making all these quirky new rods and just trying to just set this like bar of like what's different about tenkara i mean i know they do a lot of the the, the big fish stuff um you know they're doing the spay rods i mean if i'm thinking i'm gonna go catch a king salmon with a tenkara rod it's probably this brand right here where all the other brands kind of are staying within that trout stream uh demographic so that's just one thing that i think that uh that Wasatch Tenkara has done differently than, than other brands. But truly, I just, I love Ruben and his company, and I love that he's just such a nice, humble guy, and he's done so much for me and my channel, and uh, I'm, I'm just so thankful to be able to call him a friend, and a uh, really big fan of the Wasatch Tenkara Rods Company because of that. So um, again, I know sometimes people gripe on them for being a little bit more robust or having the quirky names of the rods and things like that, but you know what? Again, I've said this a couple times, times in the video I don't want every company pe to be the same and go by the same standard and formula it's nice to have differences and that's probably why the people who buy Wasatch Tenkara rods really love this brand because it's not like any other brand so I'm really really thankful for them and what they do for the Tenkara community all right guys and one of the last brands to mention and not to be confused with a JDM rod is Tenkara Tanuki so this is probably the polar opposite of what Tenkara USA is this guy is making rods for specific styles of fishing. Whether you wanna cast a specific fly or if you wanna cast that fly in a specific style, if casting is important to you, if backbone and feel and, and material is important, that's one thing that Tanuki does apart from like Tenkara USA, which just really preaches the line, a rod and a fly. Um, they're using some of the highest quality uh, Ture carbon fiber in their rods. And uh, you know, they're, they're developed really heavily in China, but they are probably closest to JDM quality with the American market in mind. So I think that's one thing that Tanuki does a lot differently than other brands is that he really is setting the bar for top quality uh, American made. Now there's a lot of different styles of rods that they do. One thing I think that Tanuki does probably uh, a little bit better than Tenkara Rod Co is the artisticness and the flashiness of Tenkara rods. Again, I know that's not for everybody and I know some of the top tier guys out there are just, they're not into that, but like, if you do the pocket ninja, I love the brook trout skin. I love the uh, the streamborn, uh, you know, outbound adventure colors. I love that they're doing, you know, quirky, quirky color schemes and 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 this whole tanuki orange phenomenon. It's just one thing that just really sets the brand apart from others, and I think that's really cool that he's doing that. So I, I I mean, who's to say that you have to follow that that particular branding in that style? And I just think that's really, really cool. Tanuki seems to be, uh, I, his name's Long. I'm pretty sure it's Long. I, I might be butchering that, but uh, he has 
a very close engagement with some of his closest followers. I mean, he is the guy that you probably could meet, hang out with fish, and he just seems like a, a young guy at heart and just really likes to have fun uh, with fishing. So I, I really love having a Japanese domestic market quality in the American game, and I do think that Tanuki does that uh, pretty well. Uh, this is still kind of a new brand that I'm uh, working with a little bit, uh, but his, uh, his affiliates, uh, Amanda Hoffner and Sage Tenkara, they have been such great people to work with and I have been super fans of their journeys as well and I'm very grateful for them and what they do as well too. So um, anyway, that's really all I can say about Tanuki, um, but probably one of the highest quality brands that I've worked with so far. All right guys, and uh, this last one is kind of more of an honorable mention. Uh, I wouldn't say this is a mainstream Tenkara company, but I'm gonna throw a shout out here to my friends at Rocky Mountain Tenkara. Uh, they have done so much for me, a lot more than I possibly could have asked for. I've got videos on their website. Uh, they have been huge advocates for the Skitty Fishing Channel, and uh, it's just, it's just two owners. Uh, it's it's Kevin and Casey. They bought the company as they retired and they're just having fun with it. It's cool to see a Takara company from New Mexico, which is probably the last place that most Rocky Mountain or Driftless or West Coast fly fishermen are thinking of is like, what the heck's going on in New Mexico? And I think it's a really bold idea to do something so small in New Mexico, but I love that they kind of keep their, their rods inspired by the surrounding area of New Mexico as well. But man, they have been been so selfless and they've been amazing and really nice people and they're they're trout unlimited supporters they're really engaged with their community and i think that's one thing that they do differently from everyone else and so i think maybe the theme of this video is starting to become what are these brands doing differently from each other uh rather than what's the general perception of 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 the community right because you've got a brand here that stays engaged with their community you've got a brand here that just wants to be your friend you've got a brand that is revolutionizing the next generation of american rods uh, at an affordable price point you have what makes tenkara look fun and seem fun and then you just have the simplicity of like, let's keep it simple. What is Tenkara? How do I do this? Where do I start? And that's essentially what all of these brands are doing. And I just think that's so cool. I love that they're they're doing things differently from everybody else. They're not here to make rods that that set the standard for, you know, what is the best rod and the best company on planet Earth. More so just, you know, they, they stay within their own curriculums. And I think that's so dang cool. So big super fans of these companies. Uh, I am not getting paid to make this video. Uh, these brands have no idea I'm making this video. And uh, I, I wholeheartedly support them on the Skitty Fishing channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's talk about this in the comments. If I missed a brand, it's not to say that I dislike that brand by any means. I just simply don't have enough uh, you know, content and personable experience with them as well. And I hope that changes in the future. So if I miss something, let me know. Let's talk about it. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. Tie lines, everyone.